Hello everyone, today we will look at the performance score of the um, Marshmallow update on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. This has been much requested on our channel, so we would like to show you the results of the benchmarking test, the Antutu benchmark version 6, uh, and also show you Geekbench result. So, first of all, this is a test I've run yesterday. I have stopped all my applications before I did it, and this is the score I got. It's 80,054. Uh, it shows you the individual scores as well here on the main screen of Antutu. 3D score 21,000, UX 27,000, CPU 25,000, RAM 5,000. That's the lowest score of them all. I'll also show you the rankings comparison between my device and other devices. Interestingly, Huawei, Meizu and Samsung Galaxy Note 5 or are on the first three positions. My device scored just below the OnePlus 2. Uh, it's between the OnePlus 2 and HTC One M9, as you can see. It's really close in scores, I think. So yeah, that's, that's what we saw here. You can also see basic information about my phone when I go to info. But that's, I think, um, not much interest to, to many of you. I don't know. You, you, you tell me if that's the case. But yeah, that's, that's what I, I saw when I tested the Marshmallow update on my Galaxy S6 Edge. And this is how it scored. I think it's a pretty, pretty decent score, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Although the RAM, um, the RAM uh, ranking is not very good. The 80,000 score in total is pretty decent, I think. So yeah, that's the Antutu update. I want to also show you the Geekbench 3 result. I will run uh, the benchmarks just now and we'll see what will be the result at the end of it. So yeah, Geekbench was requested uh, as well as something you are really keen to see how, how good the device is performing under Android 6 so it doesn't uh, it like it shouldn't take too long to load so let's see we are at 55% already so yep yeah, getting there slowly but surely to be interesting to see how well it performs knowing that the Antutu result was quite good seventh overall result is not too bad if you ask me so there you go, that's the big result I'm getting here. So single core score is 1464, multi core score is 5076. Uh, you can see information about my device again, that's system information, model ID, and all that. That's, that's uh, standard information, I'm pretty sure you see that if you have the same phone, mine is the uh, 32 gigabytes uh, variant. I haven't said that before. So yeah, uh, you can also see detailed information about the different scores I've got there. Single core and multi-core scores, each one of them. And I'll show you the single core uh, comparison between my device and all other devices. So my device is scoring quite high compared to Samsung Galaxy S5, Amazon Kindle, the Note 10, the Samsung Nexus 10, LG Nexus 5, Motorola Moto X, um, and the S4. That would be to be expected, to be honest. That's a good result here. And multi-core, let's see, 5,000. That's a very good score. I could um, see from here, 2,800 was the Galaxy S5 score. Amazon Kindle is below that. Uh, Galaxy Note 10.1, LG, uh, the S4. The uh, Nexus 7 and all that. So there you go. That's what we get as results from Geekbench 3. Single core uh, score of 1,464. Multi-core 5,076. There you go. Geekbench score for my Android device running the Marshmallow update. My phone is Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, as I said before. So I hope you get the information you're looking for from that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this already. Thanks a lot for um, 
sharing your thoughts and following us on on YouTube. We love to see your comments and opinions about the phone and, and about the update. And we would see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.